who is ready for a good old-fashioned dig around the bins? I know I am. I have not gotten to the bins very often in the last, I don't know, over a year. And I'm finally able to get back every now and then to take a dive into the bins. And so that's what we're going to do today. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Margaret. I am a reselling homeschooling mom that flips things on eBay, Etsy, and other platforms to help support my family. And one of the things I like to sell is just about anything that I can get my hands on that I can turn a good profit on. Buy low, sell high. That's the name of the game, peeps. So if you're into thrift ride-alongs, haul videos, and lots of jewelry stuff too, because I do lots of stuff with jewelry, then hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when I put out new videos. And so you can come along. I will just warn you in advance, there's going to be a, a dead bird that I don't realize is a dead bird. At first I thought it was like a, you know, like a, you see those little stuffed ones that uh, you find, you know, on hats and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try to skip over that part really quickly. So that Junium Burke, one, I don't think it was authentic. And two, the whole inner lining was totally ripped out. Uh, but I hang on to it for a little while because Junium Burke purses can sell for a really good price. But again, you got to know that it's authentic and and make sure that it's in, you know, fair shape. There are people that can fix them up. This is the dead bird. And I'm sitting there going, is it real? Is it real? Ugh. Okay, sorry about that. Okie dokie. So there were a few of these Santas. This was a ginormous one. And as tempted as I was to get him, and there was a smaller one I, I had in my cart too, I couldn't find a maker on them. Maybe one of you guys knows what it is and can holler at me and say, oh my gosh, I can't believe you left that behind. Honestly, that big one freaked me out because it was like one of those big ones that you would sit on the couch. So technically, it probably would have been a good pickup, whether I knew the brand of it or not. But it was, I mean, yeah, it kind of creeped me out. What is there something that it doesn't matter how much money it would bring, if it creeps you out, you would not pick it up to bring it home. I want to know. I mean, I know some people like, like Ouija boards are like a no-go or like a creepy dolls. But this this Santa really freaked me out. So I was like, dude, you've got to stay here. You're not coming with me. All right, let's keep digging. If you see anything that I missed, because I always do, and there's always things. I, As resellers, nobody knows everything. So there's always going to be something that we might pass over that somebody else might know to pick up. So this is how we learn from each other. If you see something that I left behind, I want to know. Look, trash, 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 trash. This, I do end up getting a few things, I'm going to say. But this trip, I didn't find a ton. So I really am hoping that there are things that I missed. Because it was, yeah, as you can see. Mm, there was a wedding set. Like, it would have been nice. It was, a, it was a cake serving set, this little box. But it was already engraved. So I think if it hadn't been engraved already, I would have gotten it. But, uh, yeah, since it was already engraved, I left it behind. We did, uh, you know, once we came to the bins and I found a bunch of Nerf stuff. And it was, it, there was so much. I didn't end up getting all, the, like, the stocks and the things that I probably should have gotten uh, and kick, kicking myself because I, I was only looking with my kids and like, oh, what, what are the ones you would want? And not thinking, I did a whole other video saying, shame on me. Look at how much money I left behind. But hopefully somebody came along. Maybe it was the karma fairy uh, giving me the opportunity to get some good karma and knowingly. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Okay, there's a... It's a Charm Co. stuffed animal. It was a bear. It was pretty cute. But again, I didn't know that brand. And the plush, I don't know. I mean, it has to be a pretty cool plush for me to, to bring it home and clean it up from the bins. Because we've seen, obviously, all kinds of condoms, rats, like live rats, dead birds, clearly. Um, all kinds of crazy stuff. So I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. What else have we got in here? More plush. And I do end up picking up a couple books in this run. Uh, the Family Guy DVD set. I did not get that. Lots of dominoes. I mean, there was a lot of digging to be had. And I know some of y'all probably say, why didn't you know dig further back? I am short and my arms are short. So I have to find or bring with me like tongs to be able to reach the other side of the bins. 
because my, yeah, my arms are short. I was checking the, the domino just there to see if it was just like a plastic domino or, you know, old vintage dominoes can be made of Bakelite or even possibly ivory. Uh, I, you can't really sell the ivory, but I honestly, I probably would have gotten it just to like put it with my ivory that I'm planning on donating someday. I just keep it all together just to kind of save it and rescue it and turn it over to educational resources and stuff to educate people against poaching, etc. I see a big doll there, and of course I want to check it out and see if it's an American Girl doll or a Pleasant Company, and it is not. So she got to stay behind. Got, I think that's another fair brand, but I did not get it or look it up. I got an American Girl's Bitty Baby, I think it's what it's called, at Savers the other day, which I haven't shown that video yet. So be on the lookout because usually my Goodwill and Savers have been really good about catching the American Girl dolls and then putting them in the case. But because it was like a baby doll one, maybe they didn't know. I don't know. But it's one of those Bitty Twins and it was like the boy. They didn't, or was it the girl? Um, Finn! This is one that I, I think if Finn had been in better shape, I would have gotten him. But gosh, he looks a mess. Uh, if you know Adventure Time, this is Finn. But he needed a ton of work, and I just did not have it in me. Look, I saw, oh my gosh, these shoes are great. There's, you know, and I was like, they're almost in brand new condition. Yay! So I grabbed the other one, and they don't match. No! The mates were not there, so I was like, darn it, those are like, they're pretty nice. My kids are too big for those shoes. Both of my kids' feet are bigger than mine now. What happened? The world has gone mad. <laughs> if you've got kids, you know what I'm talking about. Diving in over here. I was looking at this pot. It ended up being broken, and I think it was supposed to have a lid to it. My bin's breakables are 20 items for a buck 99. So I'm always looking for like cool mugs or cool like glassware, things like that, because it's so cheap. But uh, in this trip, I didn't, I didn't find, I don't think hardly any mugs I, or any, very, very few breakables. So I didn't, well, was not able to take advantage of that because that's such a great way. I mean, the cheaper you can pick things up, honestly, the, the more profit you can get, clearly. Wreaths? Anybody? No. Salad spinner? No. H.E. Buddy? If you're from Texas, you know who H.E. Buddy is, maybe. So I thought these were like kid uh, little fruit and veggie type of deals, but I think they were dog toys. In the, the end, they ended up being dog toys. Mirrored trays, I, hmm. Let me know. You look. You tell me. <laughs> this is turning in. Is, is that one of those bacon trays? Because now I'm thinking, that maybe not, wouldn't have been awful. Now, uh, this book I did pick up at first, because I was like, this is interesting. It's got cool illustrations. It was a German songbook. I looked it up and it was not selling for that much. Maybe like eight or nine bucks is what I sold, saw solds for. The books at my bins are five for a dollar, I think. Uh, so yeah. And when I did go over and look at the book, somebody had a, like two carts. It's almost like they were just like grabbing all the books and then just sitting and scanning, which you know what? Go more power to you, right? If that's your biz then get it. Okay, what did y'all think about that? This, I was looking at it for a little bit, and I was like, this looks vintage, looks, looks maybe kind of cool. I didn't get it. Um, but again, it's one of those things that maybe I should have looked it up. Yeah. No. <laughs> this particular day, you know, some days you go to the bins, if you've been, and it's, either hit or miss. I mean, sometimes you go and your cart, it overfloweth. And other days, you're hard-pressed to find anything. Usually I can find something, though. This time there were a ton of Christmas balls, like those kind, not, not the cool Christmas ornaments that you can make some good money off of. But, yeah, those Christmas balls. Oh, what was all this? Bits of vacuum cleaners I don't know and I, I get really irked out I'm not irked out but like the when they have big rolled up carpets do your bins do this and they just plunk the big nasty carpet on top of everything one me trying to move like roll a giant carpet out of the way 
is such a pain, especially if it's crowded and there's people all around you. Ugh. Um, so it's hard for me to get those like big carpets out of the way to look underneath them. I like checking out hats. That one's called Vintage Stone, Vintage Store. It ended up being um, not just crumpled, but, but stained in another spot. And I just know that would have been a cool pickup, the astronaut uh, costume. But it wasn't there. It wasn't there. Nice carpet bag or a tapestry bag. What do you call that? Tapestry bag? Magnetiles! Yes! I collect these magnetiles. Well, firstly, those are not the technical magnetiles. It's another brand. But these magnetic tiles like that, if you get a good lot of them together, they can sell. I'm digging for them now. You can see my arms starting to fly. <laughs> because my kids have them, and they are so expensive when you buy them new. They still play with them, though. But So when I find them in the bins, honestly, I wipe them down and throw them in my kids' magnetile stuff. Because, oh gosh, they're so expensive. And I know I've shared it in another video, like the, the amount you can get when you get a lot of them together. But they have those. The technical magnetile ones, most of the time, are they don't have holes in them like those did. That's another brand. I can't think of what they're called. Um, but I'll pick up either because they're both expensive. What do you think about this black beaded tassel thing? Sassy tassel, sassy. That's not a sassy tassel, y'all. That is a dirty tassel. It was a dirty. I thought it was interesting because it was black. Because I don't see a lot of black tassels as far as like home decor type deal, you know. Look at that little doll. I miss that. It almost looks like a Raggedy Ann or Raggedy Andy. Like a little scarecrow-y looking thing with his nose. Triangular nose. Didn't even see it when I was going through stuff there. This is the fun thing about this too. If you make this kind of video where you're like videotaping yourself, record, uh, like going to a thrift store, garage sale, whatnot, uh, when you go back and watch it, you'll see, you think you don't miss stuff because you think you see everything, but I always see things that I missed. Okay. Okay. This little black case, what is this for? It says... It was like B-I-N-K or B-U-I-N-K. I had it in my cart for a while, and I meant to look it up, and then I didn't, and I put it back in the bin. Or did I buy it? Did I end up buying that thing? I have to go look at my bag over there. Because I was like, this is a neat little container. What is this for? And I just don't remember figuring that out. Another baby doll with a bra on its head. It's a party gone wrong. Um... <laughs> That's a cool little bear. I like to look at, uh, for the ones that are the Yankee candle ones where they have the, you can put the scenty things inside. Are they, are they scentsy ones? They're scentsy. That's what they are. Uh, and you can put the scented things inside. There are certain ones that sell for good money. I think like an owl. Now, I like looking at Christmas ornaments, but these, mm, these were not ones that gonna, were going to be winners for me to take home. They were... Not so good. Unless y'all know different, but I, I think, I think no. I think no. Okay. Let me know down in the comments. Do you, do you have a Goodwill outlet where you are? Do you have the bins? How successful are you there? I don't even bother looking at the clothes, honestly. They, they're, I mean, they're usually really packed with people at ours and I, I prefer the hard goods and then again I don't know a whole lot about clothes <laughs> truly so there's certainly something for everybody when you're trying to resell so looking over here mm, I see like a little candy dish like a tiered candy dish that might have been okay to look at that bag, that vintage bag that was, it opened like one of those doctor bags. Look, look, I see now a snow globe. Did I see it when I was right there and it was in front of me? No, I didn't even see it. There it is though. Snow globe right in front of me. <laughs> I, I'm surprised they took a satellite dish, but there it is. Oh, this was really cute. I was like, oh my gosh, this is adorable. A little, looks like a balloon animal doggy, but look at his nose is all chipped. 
That was a super bummer. I got kind of excited about that. I was like, that's really cute. I should have seen if that pump was in the box. But I didn't. And that looked like some vintage fabric that I could have probably looked closer at. Broken mug. Now I'm wondering what it was. Dang. I should have looked at it closer. Okay. Yeah. Hand weights? Thoughts? Look, was that a jump rope? I just did a thing about jump ropes in one of my last videos. Oh, no, it's not. It's this cord for this giant... My kid was like, what is this? I said, it looks like a ginormous controller, but it was in awful shape. It, like a giant controller. Maybe it is a jump rope, is it? Yeah, there was a thing. I was looking up some jump ropes in one of my last videos, and ones with, like, the leather can sell for really good money. It, like a speed rope? Mm. No, no, the weighted one, not the speed one. This little snowman was pretty cute, but again, I, I wasn't feeling it. I, do you buy appliances at the bins? Have you ever bought a toaster or a crock pot or a vacuum for that matter at the bins? I have never, I'm guessing somebody does. Sometimes when you've got, you've got something that's extra heavy, you, they'll give you like a flat price for it and not weigh it, which is nice. That's happened a couple times where I found some really cool metal things like cat mm, cast iron, you know, and they, and they've given me a good price every now and then I'll find a piece of jewelry. I didn't end up getting it. There was another necklace earlier in the video that I did not get either. <clears throat> nice piece of wood. Someone likes a nice piece of wood every now and then. <laughs> Teddy bear. I'm always looking for cool vintage ones or, you know, stife, which, of course. What are the odds of finding a stife in the bins? Watch me do it next time. I'm going to put it out in the universe. I thought this bear was really interesting because he had such short little legs. <laughs> and I was like, who is this guy? Uh, that was my kid. My kid's like, look at this, look at this. We do end up getting that, I think, because my kid is really into... Reptiles and amphibians. Critters. Critters. I didn't get this. Bear. It was cute, though. Hmm. It was a lot to dig through, which can be good or not good. <laughs> Little ornament. Frozone. You're awesome, Frozone. That looks like a little people boat. Oh, is it? I don't even look at it when I'm there. You know, the vintage little people, not the new, like, chunky ones. But, like, the little, it looked like a little vintage little person boat. I should have dug some more. Unicorn ball. Nope. Hmm. Those would have been cool, but they were not there. Little meditation balls. Vintage Halloween is always good to look for and pick up, but those were just little shiny paper decor. All right, let's just look together for just a sec. This giant knot, is that something, is that a dog toy or is that something that I'm missing out on? I was like, what is this giant knot? Dog toy? I need to know. Oh, looky, looky. Looks like a nice little piece of jewelry here. It looks like maybe some silver or silver tone with malachite chips. So, of course, I want to look. There's some more earrings in there. So I'm thinking, ooh, maybe there's more. Hey, hey, 
somebody's hiding behind this table or whatever that is. Yes, indeedy. We have another bracelet. This is alpaca with some nice inset inlay, abalone, and mother of pearl. So now I'm a digging. Now I will move tables and whatnot because I found treasures. But I don't find any more. Look, blue balls. I don't find any more jewelry in there. But then it really got me thinking, oh, I got to dig better. Because there's jewelry hiding underneath stuff. I liked this. It was broken and it was missing the lid. One of the little, no, the handle was there. Okay. But it was not, um, the lid was not there. And I did put it in my cart and kept it there for a while. But as much as I dig, I do not find any more pieces of jewelry, which is a bummer. But I'm glad I found what I did because it was hiding. I ended up spending about $5 and some change. And just one of those bracelets will more than pay for it. The little bangle the, with the inlaid shell and all, that one will probably sell for around $15. There's another creepy Santa. I kept thinking, I, I need to look. It just creeped me out. I don't know. The Made in China was what really sealed the deal for me to set him back. So I'm like, I'm fine. Maybe you're not that special after all, Santa. Harry Potter cards. Yes, please. These were ended up being not like regular playing cards, but they're like for playing um, memory or old maid. Because there's a, what was the, the old maid in this set? I think it was a sorting hat or something like that. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, a broken onk. I would have gotten that if it weren't broken. Bummer. So I start wondering what in this yellow bag is. At first I thought maybe it's like a sleeping bag, but it ends up being a bed tent. One of those things you pop up around a bed type of deal, but the poles were gone. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. You know, it was this SpongeBob SquarePants bed tent. However, no poles. So maybe the poles were in the bin somewhere, but look, they wrote on there, tent, bed tent. Cool. Thank you for writing it on there, whoever owned it before the bins. Laser lights, nights and sights. Skill drills. Oh dear. Ooh, Doctor Who. <clears throat> I was really hoping that this puzzle had the pieces still in the bag, you know? But nay, they were definitely loose, so that was a big pass. On that one, <clears throat> love my Doctor Who stuff. Love it, love it. That was empty. Nothing in there. More puzzles, but of course they were all already opened. I just realized that the piece that I flipped up there had an inlay like frame and I didn't get a close enough look at it. I wish now I'd gotten a better look. Nope, I'm not gonna see it. <clears throat> what else have we got here? Hmm. That looked like maybe dollhouse furniture, but it was not in very good shape. That I had my hand on just a second ago. I mean, honestly, I'm glad I walked out with some stuff. Now, this, if it was a different brand and a better shape, I would have I've definitely gotten it. Because there are people that like certain fish, you know, and like when your kid is like super into sawfish, going to find like a toy sawfish, ask me how I know. Um, because my kid was like, okay, into Arapaima, like 
that was my kid's thing for a while was everything Arapaima. And well, of course it's got to be a weirdo. It can't be like a great white shark where there's a million billion of them out there. No, sawfish, Arapaima, great. So I have real world experience looking for rando animals. So I'm sure there are other parents out there that are like, seriously, blue whale, this is what we've got to find? Yes. Luckily, there's more strange animal toys now than there used to be. You can find an anglerfish. That's a cool lid, but the content, the pot for that was that was not there. Maybe it was somewhere, but I never saw it. Oh gracious! Fake money, play money. This was kind of neat, but it was yeah again. Definitely had to leave that behind. <sighs> there is money in teacher supplies, depending on the supplies. Oh, look at that Ravensburger puzzle. Did I totally just miss it? Yes. Yes, I did. I'm looking through a purse right here, sideways. But there was... Oh, oh, this is a little cap gun. My kids are really into cap guns. So, we got that. Anyway, Ravensburger. That puzzle... Or game I didn't get to look at. Maybe I will look at it. I haven't gotten there yet. But they can go for nice money too. There's some. It's worth a look up anyway. There are some that can. Digging. <laughs> it's like a giant thing of temper paint. Oh my gosh. Costumes. Not that one. But I saw the Matrix costume. It was a, a Neo and Morpheus costume I think I sold it for like 70 bucks just the pattern it was insane was it 70 it was a lot 70 or 80 it was I gotta go back and look so some some costume patterns can sell for really really good money rocket anyone this is something I, I almost got to look up, and I did, and I feel like now maybe I should have. It's one of those sensory seats, but I, I think I just, I don't know, I got weirded out. <laughs> like, somebody was sitting on this. Who knows what they were, I don't know. Could have cleaned it, Margaret. Come on, just look it up. I didn't. I'm still, like, like I say, like I still feel like I'm kind of getting my getting my feet back under me. I'm doing better. I'm getting my listings up. Working on inventory, checking all what I've got. So I'll feel like once I'm really rocking and rolling, I've got my my feet under me really strong. Let's see now. Hmm. You let me know. What do you see? Anything good? Pillow? No. Silicone mold? Those can sell. I know because I buy them, but not for a ton. Maybe you've got a lot of them together. looking never given up hope <laughs> that might have been something to look closer at. I think that was one of those collapsible measuring things or colanders I could have looked at that closer it's hard when you're 
thrifting with your kids sometimes, I find. Because I find also that I end up going more quickly. Because I know not one of my kids is cool with it. But the other one is not really super into thrifting with me. So, like I say, sometimes I go a little bit faster and overlook things, which is a shame. But it is the reality of, yeah, ugh, carpets get on my face. Yeah, that's a cute little piggy, but I think it's a dog toy. I'm not sure, just based on the arms. I couldn't find the, the container for that either. That would have been a cool one. So a couple things I picked up that I did not end up showing in the video, but I don't end up actually buying this virtual Springfield. It was a game for like a PC, but it wasn't selling for basically anything. And then this ball I thought was going to be a for sure winner, but it was not. There were a number of them up and only one sold for $12. So I'm glad I looked them up because they were ones that I was really, my gut was telling me these are going to be good, I think. And they weren't. So again, it's worth looking things up. I almost bought this Lazy Susan. This was something I was like, oh, I could use this for me maybe. But then I realized, no, I have enough junk around my house. I don't need a Lazy Susan. So I, I didn't get it. All right, y'all. I was very, very picky about what I picked up in this haul at From the Bins. I got two bracelets to sell. I got a handful of books, one of which I'm probably going to sell, which I didn't know that I ended up showing in this. But it was a Neil Gaiman book, I think. I'll have to go get it. And then my kid got like that little cap gun and a Nerf gun, I think. So we ended up spending like $5.35. The bracelets I got will more than pay for the whole trip, which is great. One of them will probably sell for 15 The other maybe, you know, 10 bucks or so. Nothing huge, but enough to make our money back, that's for sure. And we had a nice little trip to the bins. I am really hoping that the next trip we find more amazing and fantastic stuff. But you know what? This is reality. You win some, you lose some. And this trip, oh, there was a buttstock. My kid was like, no, we don't need that. I have so many of those already. Fine. We didn't get it. So, yeah. I, again, that's one of those like, oh, I could have gotten it, just set it to the side and made a lot. Duh. Once again, I'm thinking about the kid and not what I could do and make a, a lot. But I'm really, 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 really trying to not get overloaded with um, unlisted inventory. So I'm trying to make sure I get listed these things before I go buy more stuff. That's going to be probably very short-lived. You know how it is. All right, y'all. Make sure you've gone down there and left me a comment. Let me know what you pick up, what you don't, what's gross to you, what you will not touch no matter what. No matter how much profit it brings in, you wouldn't pick it up, period. Uh, and I'd like to know. All right. I will see you on the next one. And if you're not already, why don't you follow me over on Facebook and Instagram because frequently I post things over there that I don't post over here. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye, everybody.